what what a great idea you no know, you never have that ability to to really to say that you don't want kids or or oh my god i don't want kids who do i talk to about this did you push record Thanks so much for tuning into our second act with Paige and Silka. Today, I'm so happy that one of our previous guests is joining us again, all the way from Brisbane, Australia, Tanya Williams. <laughs> Tanya, thanks so much for joining me again. Good morning, Silka. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Uh, for those of you who may have missed our previous segments with Tanya, I will link to those. Tanya is the author of A Child Free Happily Ever After and just came up with a great program that we want to talk about uh, today. Just uh, a quick uh, background. Tanya uh, found us after we did uh, just sort of on a lurk a few interviews uh, talking to women who don't have children after 50 and how we might feel about that, whether it was a choice, circumstance, how we're dealing with that now. And ironically, a lot of younger women joined in when it really was meant to be, you know, for our, our peers. And this is why I'm excited about your program, uh, Tanya, because obviously this sort of feedback is highly sought by thousands yeah. if not millions of younger women. So tell us about the program that you're doing and you know what you hope to accomplish. Yeah, well, I mean, obviously um, the feedback for the book has been fabulous. So when we launched it, it was a number one bestseller on Amazon. So that's, that's really exciting. And um, so the Child Free Choices program is for women who are undecided about having kids and also women who are child free may not be lucky enough to have a supportive network around them and they're struggling really coming to terms with that decision or they've still got people nagging at them saying you've got to have kids you've got to have kids and so forth and they're really you know not everyone has girlfriends and people around them that they can talk to about that well and not that that's necessarily even a good thing because sometimes the girlfriends yeah. are the ones that tell you that oh no you're going to change your mind how can you think about not having kids and you know i do want to preface uh, or, or or point out that we're not anti-kids here this is just no. uh, you know this this is really needed for people who just don't don't want to have children it's a huge decision it changes your life forever and it's not necessarily for the best in all cases so uh, you know and, and i think that everybody as you do has the right to choose whether or not they you know they have children if you yeah. can't have them that's a whole whole other conversation that's what not what this is about this is about yeah you know choice yeah this, this is about the, the the choice and i think um you know it, it's a really big choice that we make and we spend all this money on self-development and, and, and learning things for our careers and on all these sorts of new skills but we never spend time and, or invest time and resources into the biggest decision that we make in our life and that's figuring out if we want kids or not so you know for some it's a clear cut they're like yes I want to be a mum for others like me it's like no I never wanted that I never had to make a decision because I always just knew I didn't want that but then there's a whole bunch of women in between that that are going I don't know some days yes, some days no, and they're just, you know, at that age going, I have to make a decision because I know as I'm getting older, my time's running out. So then they're, they're, they're under more and more pressure and there's there's really nowhere for them to go. That's why I've created this program and, um, yeah, I'm really excited about where this can, can go and what it can be. So it's is it explain it to me. I know you said it's for nine months. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> on purpose I've done it for nine months <laughs> and you basically just uh, is it almost like a, a like a support group for lack of a better word or, or? Yeah, look, it's, it's a combination so it's it's predominantly an online program so as part of that program each month you get a, um, a different module opens up for you and each module has a different theme so we talk about you know your why and your values and we talk about managing expectations um, we look at there's a whole module purely based on career and what it looks like either way um, in your career and your career project trajectory and how that um, impacts. It talks about regret. Um, we talk about the conversations that you need to have with your parents and your partner and, and the people around you. So there's a whole bunch of different topics that we cover. In each monthly module, there are, um, are lots of interviews. So I've spoken to lots of women from different age group, different circumstances, mums, non-mums people who aren't still deciding those types of things so we can share their voice and share their conversation. There are articles in there that I've written 
Um, so, you know, blog posts and articles. There are exercises throughout as well where they can do an exercise, whether it be journaling or, or different things that we've got throughout where they can actually go away and sit and have a bit more think, um, thought about it and a bit more strategy around what it is they might not want or, or not want and how things make them feel and so forth. So, um, and then also what we're doing have is having a monthly discussion. So we'll get on and have a discussion about a particular topic and then there'll be the, the closed Facebook group where we can have discussions and interactions with each other. So not just with me, but with other people within the group. So it, I really wanted it to be a combination of different things. So whether you wanted to sit back and watch it from afar or whether you want to get involved in the conversation, you have that that choice and that ability to be able to do that. What what a great idea. I mean, I had, I, well, I mean, of course, you know my story. We've done interviews on yeah. that. I've done, uh, but no, you never have that ability to to really to say that you don't want kids or, or oh my God, I don't want kids. Who do I talk to about this? Yeah. You know, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that by going through this, it's not necessarily, you may not arrive at the conclusion that you don't want kids. You may arrive at this conclusion, yeah, this actually is for me. I don't want to miss yeah, out. Yeah, and that's perfectly fine. Yeah. The, yeah but, the, but just having, being able to express that and not receiving the judgment, that, that's, that's the biggest thing, certainly for, for my generation. I'm a little older than you. Well, a lot. <laughs> but the... Um, yeah, the judgment is just so difficult. And it's funny when I bring that up in different, I'm in some like mastermind groups and where there's younger women and I'll, when they ask me about what I do and I've mentioned that, you know, what's interesting about the second act is that, you know, it's a, a conversation that we opened to uh, women over 50 all of a sudden was joined in by so many young women that that's ironic about the demographic, blah, blah, blah. And and right away, there was at least four younger women, oh, my God, I'm struggling with this right now. I'm like, oh, I'm, I, oh, I want to talk to you yeah. some more. I mean, just, you know, anytime I mention these videos around younger women, I get that response, yeah. which I'm sure you, you get it, you know, a whole lot more than I do. But it just substantiates the need yeah. to get some, un, you know, non-judgmental feedback. Yeah. So, and, that, and that's exactly right. I mean, as, as you know, I'm all about choice. So if women come through this and they decide that they want to have kids... That's great. It's all about what you want um, and what's best for you. And that's the whole point of this is to help you, um, support you along that, um, you know, show you other other women and what they've done and how they've coped and, and, and how people have handled that judgment um, and the criticism. And so we've got a whole heap of stuff on, on ways you can do that. Um, you know, and throughout, I also share my story as well. So I think it's if we can share and have these conversations, I think that's just so important. Um, so other women can see, hey, it's not always easy. Um, this is this is a big decision, and it can be challenging whether you do want to be a mum or not be a mum. There's pros and cons to to both sides, um, but I think it's important to to be able to have a space where these conversations can happen. No, exactly. And, um, you know, obviously this this will run on YouTube on our website. So depending on when somebody sees this, the I'll link to all your information, to the program, of course, to your book, to your personal information. And, you know, we'll, we'll see. Um, I'd, I'd like to talk to you again when you're, you know, when well, you're in it or maybe you've gotten through a nine-month period. So <laughs> kind of... Um, you know, what kind of information we can share. Yeah. Tanya, we're almost out uh, of time. Is there anything else that you want to leave us with before we sign off here? I love having our conversations. I can talk about all these these topics all day, as you know. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm really excited about it. And, and thanks for the opportunity to, to share this with your audience. I think it's fabulous. Oh, always great talk to you, Tanya. We'll see you next time on Our Second Act with Paige and Silka. Bye-bye. <laughs>